I think that'll do. Peace and love, everyone. How is everyone doing today? Hope everyone is doing well. Very well, I might add. Let me see if I can adjust this. I don't know why this doesn't seem right. Hold on. Sometimes this thing is like, oh, I'm like, is somebody beeping at me? All right. How's everyone doing? Okay, that's, that's a little bit better. Peace and love. How is everyone doing today? I pray that everyone is doing well. Very, very well. Um... As you come into the chat, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you all can hear me. Let me turn this. Okay, shalom. Uh, assuming that you all can hear me and see me. <laughs> can you hear me? Can you see me? All right, good deal, good deal. All right, so I wanted to get in here and talk about what you give away um, when you complete a consumer credit transaction. Um, because I know that is very customary. Um, no, before I get started, when you come in the chat, please drop your city and state. Um, let me know if you're in the, if you're going to be or if you live in the Richmond, Virginia area, because I'm actually booked for an event, a uh, speaking engagement in Richmond, Virginia coming up. Uh, the weekend of June the 3rd. So if you're in that area, it would be nice to meet you in person. Um, I will make sure that I drop the link for that event in the chat. Okay, all right, so what do you give away in a consumer credit transaction? I know that it is very customary to go in and sign documents and not think nothing of it. This is the standard. This is how the system has us operating. Every single thing that we do, we have to give up some sort of signature, right? Um, everything that we do, they require a signature. Even if it's the most smallest, minuscule, trivial transaction, there is a signature required, okay? Um, when you go onto the Cornell Law website and go look the definition of credit the definition of credit means rights granted okay so you have to ask yourself a question what are the rights that are being granted number one and number two who is granting those rights okay um, you know it's, it's just one of those things so most people believe that when we go to acquire something we go to acquire a car or a house um, that the credit rights or the rights granted is being provided by the uh, bank or financial institution that we are going to do business with. <laughs> Remember, the system that we are in, the majority of things that you look at out here in the world is the opposite of what you believe it to be. Right? This is the complete opposite. So a lot of people think that when you go into the bank that they're actually doing you a favor by, by quote unquote, granting you rights to own something. Okay, that's what most people think because that's what we're being trained to think. Um, now, if you know, if you've studied, then you know that all of the values, all of the credits are derived from the natural person the real man the real woman and i don't even really want to use the term person anymore because that in itself is a fictional term you have man you have woman period okay the real man the real woman right all of the credit derivatives are derived from the real man and the real woman all of the energy 
comes from the real man and the real woman. The essence of the energy that is being granted in a consumer credit transaction comes from the real man and from the real woman. So if you are the source of that credit derivative, right? You are the source, you are the source. It's your energy, it is your signature that is creating the values that are secured by the contract that you are signing. You are the source, okay? However, when you go in to complete a consumer credit transaction, again, the definition of credit means rights granted. You are granting something to someone else. Something is being moved from the source over to the other party. What is being moved? That energy, that derivative, those credits are being transferred or assigned from you, the real man, the real woman, over to the company, whoever the company is, whoever they are, bank, financial institution, whomever. And so you are essentially giving something up. And so when they receive the rights granted from you as the source, the originator of the energy that is fueling that transaction, they can now take it and do with it whatever they want to do, right? They monetize it, whatever. Um, and then they can force you to make a payment of some sort because you literally gave up rights in that transaction, you assigned it over. When you go and 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 uh <clears throat> when you when you go and purchase a car or a house there's an there's an existing interest in that documentation you have an interest in that documentation because your name is on that documentation that's number 1 and number 2 you're the source of the energy that is bringing value to that documentation so you have what is what can be called an absolute interest an interest that is above all other interest in that transaction right it's absolute okay okay the creditor or whoever they call them a creditor or a lender bank whomever has they also have an interest in that transaction as well but their interest is subordinate to that of your interest is subordinate that means it is inferior it is beneath secondary but what happens is is you actually transfer your interest to the creditor the lender whomever when you sign that documentation when you put your energy into that transaction when you sign the documentation and you literally you sign that documentation and you literally bring the values, the numbers, the terms, the amounts, the interest, the payments. You actually bring those values to life when you sign that documentation. And once you sign that documentation, the contract becomes live because without your signature, there is, no, there is nothing there. There's nothing there. Your signature is what creates the money. It's when it, your signature is what creates the money. So when you bring, you, when you make that contract become alive, you have granted rights to the company to do something. Okay. You have granted rights to the company to do something, to take something from you. 
okay now that's where we're going wrong remember there is a trust that operation and at, at, at all times there's there's when you sign a contract anything that you do there's always going to be some sort of trust there's always going to be some sort of trust that operation so the ideal is to determine what role you play in that transaction at different periods of time from the beginning to the middle to the end of that trust relationship now when you look at commerce um and you look at the way that commerce is set up you know that we live in a um capitalistic society right capitalism <laughs> runs rampant in this society the way that the financial system is set up i hope that you all can still hear me let me see what volume is that okay so capitalism <laughs> and you know this this just clicked for me it was either today or yesterday and i had to look at the word and i'm like ain't that about something this is something when i tell you the stuff be right in front of your face like it literally it's literally right in front of your face capitalism okay everything that you see um in terms of what is connected to the legal person i.e the straw man i.e whoever the fictional person whatever it is that you call that person um it, the name is in all capital letters okay every time that you go and create a new entity let's say you start an llc corporation uh whatever with the secretary of state you get your documentation that information is in all capital letters capital letters capitalism capital letters capitalism capitalism is a fictional um system that was created with the purpose of pull, pulling, with the purpose of, with the purpose, sorry about that, my phone was just ringing, with the purpose of pulling those derivatives, those values, the essence of the energy of the natural man and the natural woman, the real man and the real woman. The system was created to continuously continuously pull and drain those values from you people persons whatever you want to call it real man real woman that's that's what the system does and they have perfected this system over time many 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 years they have perfected this system so when you study the system and study the movement and study the 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 uh the structure of how the system is set up then you will be able to navigate in a way that is uh, most beneficial to yourself but part of the issue is and and this is what i'm realizing and this is this is this is what i'm going to be speaking about tomorrow on the thursday night call there are a lot of things out here that are fiction but what i'm seeing with individuals like myself who are in truth who is who's always in pursuit pursuit of truth and you're out here and you're doing remedies and trying to get down to the bottom of the matter and get get what's due to you part of the part of the um restriction that i see with certain thought processes is that people believe that the fiction ends with the straw man they believe that the straw man we all know that the legal person the straw man is a fiction but we 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 want to expand our way we we need to expand 
that fictional um I, being able to identify the fiction expands to other areas of our life outside of the straw man right so when you are looking at the straw man you know that the straw man is fiction you know that you they they um have presumed you to be dead dead in the water all these things but when you walk out your fool look at that traffic when you walk out your front door and you touch something you put your hand on your car to open the car door right and you get in your car and you go and drive okay there's a certain fictional aspect to everything you touch and so it's it's literally just like the matrix oh my goodness it's it, when i tell you if y'all you we may need a we i may need to be i may need to do a, a um <laughs> a um viewing party and for us to go in and watch the matrix again because i think a lot of people miss what was actually going on in that movie everything in that movie was fiction everything all right so back to the car your your car is it a car or is it a vehicle are you driving or are you traveling is it a road or is it land is it a title or is it a manufacturer statement of origin an mso there is a fictional side now now there's a fictional side to everything out here in addition to that there is always three parties to to a transaction this is a trinity based babylonian system that we're operating in it is trinity based and so a lot of you know about the trinity okay the father son and the holy ghost you know about the trinity i don't know what your belief system is but you you're gonna want to do some digging and research on what the trinity really is seriously because when you look at the trinity in principle and you take those same principles and you apply it to commerce and you're able to see the trinitarian system as it applies to every single transaction that you do in commerce is going to open your eyes it will open your eyes and then you will be you will you will begin to look at everything out here the same way that neo looked when he realized that he was the one everything that he looked at was in codes everything was in codes y'all need to go back and look at the movie so that you can realize what happened closer to the end of the movie and so you may not think that the the loan that you did was a trinity based transaction but it was think about it there's the legal person there's the natural man the, the not natural the real man real woman and then there's the cr uh, creditor or banker whoever that you did the transaction with everything that the beast or the enemy rolls out he operates in threes the most high operates in duality the enemy operates in threes so we are in a trinitarian trinity based capitalistic system it's a beast it's a beast it is a beast and the thing of the matter is is if you are seeking and moving towards any sort of remedy or anything like that you want to be able to identify what the trinity is and how it's affecting you today because it is affecting you today and if you're looking at that solely as a religious thing then that is a mistake because the way that this system is set up is very 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 spiritual and a lot of people are missing that because they're operating on a, on a secular level and they're missing the spiritual side of things and it's literally right in your face right in your face in order for us to 
be uh, in this, not be, in order for us to really navigate in this system, we have to understand the dynamics of how this system is set up, right? And I'm here to tell y'all that that journey starts with scripture. It just does. If you try to separate the two, you're gonna be limited in your understanding. You will be limited. You will be limited. You really, really will. So this call that's coming up tomorrow, this third, I, I do a, a call every single Thursday at seven o'clock. Those individuals that are in the private Facebook group, they have access to the call among other people that have purchased courses. They have access to the call. The call is, is done, it's, it's a private call on Thursdays because a lot of the things that I want to talk about in depth, I cannot do that here. I have to do it in a private setting to give people more insight into certain things. Where am I? Um, so I will be doing a deep dive into fiction versus truth tomorrow because you, you to, to, to fight the good fight, fight this battle, it's gonna require more than paperwork. It's gonna require more than paperwork, y'all. That paperwork, I'm telling y'all, hear me when I tell you. It's, I, I, can't, I can't see, I'm driving y'all, so I can't read your comments. Um, it's gonna require more than paperwork. So in order for you to get into the private Facebook group, um, it, it, you all can, uh, I'll, I'll drop in it when this video renders I'll drop the link in there but if you find me on social media anywhere Tamara T Bush all of the links are in my bio Facebook Instagram TikTok, Twitter it's all the same link Tamara T-A-M-R-A the letter T and then B-U-S-H if you find me if you look for me that way you search for me that way the, the links are there for you to connect to get into the Facebook group um it's going to require your paperwork and your paperwork it doesn't get you anywhere you got to be able to know why it is not as powerful as it should be and you're going to want to know who your enemies are and the only way to know who your enemies are is to study this system you're going to want to know what role you play in every transaction Remember, consumer credit transaction, credit means rights granted. Who is granting what to who? Who's, who, who's granting what to who? You wanna study the Trinity, I'm telling y'all. You know, so it's deeper than just some paperwork. It really, really is, it really is. It's deeper than paperwork. You know, think about it. The Trinity, the Trinity, everything that you do. Okay, when you get married, you gotta go get a marriage license. So then it becomes a relationship between the husband, the wife, and the state. When you have a baby, okay, it's a relationship between the parent, the baby, and the state because you have the birth certificate. When you go buy a car, it's a relationship between you, um, the legal person, and the state because you have to have a title. When you go buy the house, same thing. It's the same thing. When you go to Walmart and buy groceries, it's still a Trinity-based system because you have the, net, the the real man, woman, and then the legal person, and then Walmart. There's always, <laughs> there's always three parties to the transaction, regardless if you think it is or not. And so the idea is to lean into that, to know that you are not the party, the all caps person. You're separate from the entity, the fiction that they created, but you still want to be able to identify every other fictional act. Like you need to be able, you want to get to a point where you look outside your door and you look at a tree and you be like, is it truth or is it fiction? That's going into the definitions of things, the older definitions of things. You know, so you want to pull out your old dictionaries, your blacks, your uh, uh, Bouvier, you know, the old, old dictionaries, the old dictionaries. 
right? This is the stuff that we have to be able to, to that we, we want to begin to study um, as we are out here looking at the world and trying to maneuver and do these transactions and try to get any sort of remedy. Um, so I will be going deep into that subject matter um, in terms of fact versus fiction. What's today? Today is Wednesday. Okay, so tomorrow, listen, tomorrow is um, preparation day for me. It's preparation day because I observe the lunar Sabbath um, based off of the new moon. So Friday, this coming Friday and the next two Fridays after is Sabbath for me. So the call tomorrow night is not going to be a long call because it's preparation day you know and I, I can't spend a lot of time um i gotta you know because i gotta prepare so i'm gonna get right on the call tomorrow we're gonna get started i'm gonna lock the call down at 7 15. we're gonna get into it for about an hour and then we're gonna be done if you're coming up on the call on the thursday night call please try your best to be on time if you can if you're trying to get into the call at 7.30, the call will more than likely be locked. It will be locked um, because that's too late. And, and the thing of the matter is, is when you're trying to come in late, every single time that the system makes it, it it's gonna make a chime when anybody new is trying to join the call and that interrupts the lesson because other people on the call can hear the chime. So if you, if you can't get in there by 7.15, it's okay just make next week's call there are no recordings provided for thursday night calls because the thing of the matter is there's not enough time in a day for you to go back and watch all these calls when you get on the call if you're able to be in a stable location with a pen and a pad to take notes that's going to be ideal the reason why i don't record the thursday calls is because i want people to be present on the call and not doing other things um, because they know that a recording is coming. Because if I'm doing a call every single Thursday and, and you're on the call, but you're doing other stuff, you're gonna put yourself behind because next week is gonna be another call coming out anyway. It's gonna be another call. There's not enough time in the day for you to go back and listen to all these calls. So I do these calls with the purpose of people coming on the call to take notes so that they can glean from the information that's being presented and and use the notes you know where am i at okay i know where i'm at so they can use the notes and move forward with stuff you want to be able to move forward you don't want to have to wait till the next week to move a call move, move the call part of the reason why i began to bring spirituality into what i teach is because you have to have some sort of some um uh light in you in order to see certain things when you're doing your paperwork if you're just moving in a secular manner, you're gonna be limited. You may still get some success, but you will be limited. That's just the way it is. That's the truth. That, that, I, I mean, you know, that is the truth. That is the truth. We need something stronger than just us because they are attacking us in a way that if we don't, have backup you can you 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 can forget it let me see oh my god I'm gonna speed up and get in front of this truck because I gotta put, I gotta hit this pedal boy. Cause these, these, <laughs> these people be, all right. Okay, I'm good now. You're going to want to have some sort of backup because what'll end up happening is, is that the enemy will creep in. The enemy will creep in. And when you think that you're hearing from the most high, it won't be the most high. I can tell you that right now, <laughs> it won't. And then you'll do things and then you'll wonder, man, why didn't that work? Or why, am, why is they trying to arrest me? I'm telling y'all, this is a real thing. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm good. This is, this is a very real thing. Hold on, y'all, I'm about to park. 
I just got off the highway. I'm heading over to Sam's Club to go get some gas because Sam's got cheap, ga cheap, cheap uh, gas. Their gas is cheaper than regular gas, and I use premium gas. So, all right. So let me see what y'all got in here. But I'm, I'm about to um. How do I get to the chat? I do this every single time. Let's see, live chat. Um, messages are visible. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Hello, Gohan. USA Republic, hello, Darla. Hi, Healing Goddess. Hi, love, uh, Joyce, Richie, George, Albert. Turtle. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. I'm on Eastern Standard Time. I'm in North Carolina. Um, so everything that I do is on Eastern Standard Time. 7, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Thursday, 7 p.m. Um, so I will be sending out the details for the call. Did I already send that? I gotta check y'all. I'll be it'd be a lot going on. It really do. So I just gotta double check to make sure that my um that I sent the the details to the admin to send send out the um the details for the call. So yeah, that's where we are. Now also there's an upcoming class um, I haven't set a date, but it will be in the month of May. More than likely going to be the second weekend, next weekend, or the weekend after in May. The uh, class is currently in pre-sale. It's a trust class. Um, I will be going into some of those topics that people have been asking me about. Um, that class is going to be fire. That's all I can say. It is going to be fire. It's going to be fire. Um, and it's just going to be a, a one day class. Just one day class will go for two hours, two, three hours, maybe three. And that's going to be it. And I will be showing you some things in terms of your structure for your trust. Because a lot of people have been asking, what do I do? How do I set this up? You know, I'm going to give it to you straight. Um, to help you all get set up and prepared for those who want to move forward with um, status in some capacity. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know, so y'all, y'all are not going to want to miss that. You're not going to want to miss that. All right. So, like I said, I just wanted to hop on to talk about that because it was pressing on my mind. I'm in Charlotte. I am in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been here for years, born and raised in Buffalo, New York. But I have been in Charlotte for a very long time. All right, let me park for a second so that I can see what y'all got going on in the chat. And then I'm gonna run over here and get this gas. And then I gotta go back to the house. park real quick oh all right let's see kind of in the in the um peace and love peace and love peace and love dallas texas louisiana they're refusing to pay the arbitration fees then you're going to have to pay the arbitration fees and try to get it back in your settlement. It really was. Matrix, <laughs> Matrix was a documentary. In God We Trust. Now, boy, when I break down that In God We Trust, because I'll be, I'll be breaking ugh, tomorrow. Just get, be on the call tomorrow. Be on the call tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The private Facebook group is Ready Nation. All right. Okay, upstate New York. Okay, upstate. Yeah, I can't. I'm. I'm. Yeah, upstate New York. Yeah, that's upstate New York. But yeah, everybody. I just wanted to hop in. I don't want this video to be too too long because I know people 
got things going on and they will not get back in here and watch the whole replay so i'm trying to you know be accommodating to people um yeah listen when you go into genesis oh boy when you go into genesis and the most high is um bringing forth the covenant listen y'all that's that's a trust i'm telling you it's all throughout the bible where do you think these people got this trust stuff from they got it from scripture it's all coming from scripture all of it all of it all of it all of it <laughs> all of it all right so listen get into the group get in yeah it's all in the word all of it is in the word um get into the group be on the call tomorrow um because i will be breaking some things down it's going to be a very good call so i hope and pray mm -hmm. well oof court yeah 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 there's a lot of things going on in the courtroom um but i hope and pray that i can see you all on the call uh, peace and love to everyone that took the time out to join the live. Definitely like, share this video to anyone that you think will benefit. Get in a private Facebook group. Get prepared for the upcoming class this week, uh, this month. And I will see you all on Thursday's call. No, I don't teach trusts publicly. Um, you're going to have to get into the class. I'll be talking about that in the class. All right. Peace and love, everybody. Have a blessed day.